Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to dynamically create QBDs by countries from the SQL data. We will see two different loops here. First one is for loop and second one is for each loop. First of all, I will show you the SQL data. I have installed SQL on my machine and the name is mk-qsl-del click solutions and I have created database sales and in sales database I have different tables. Today we are going to use order table. So if you see the order table here, we have ID which is a primary key, order ID, line number, quantity, sales and all other informations. And if you see number of lines, that's around 10 million. And if we run this query, we will get by country how many number of rows are there. So our objective is to create QVD, order QVD, but we want to store this QVD by country. So instead of creating a single order QVD, we will create QVDs by country. And that is also dynamically. So tomorrow one more country will get added, then the QVD will dynamically get created. So first I will create a SQL connection here and I will use here OLEDB connection and here I will say Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL server and here I will write the name of the server. So the name of the server is this. So I will copy this and then I will paste it here because I have installed SQL Server on the same machine, I am going to use Windows Integrated Security. But if the SQL Server is installed on another server and if you have got username and password, then you can directly use them. I will use here Windows Integrated Security and I will test the connection. So once the connection is successful, I will load all the database and I need self database here. So I will select the sales database and I will create connection here. So I will write here SQL Server. So now my connection is getting created. After this connection is created, we can see all the tables. So if I will select orders here, we can see that we have 10156352 means 10 million rows. If we see here, we have same number of rows and let's see how many rows are there for country USA. So USA has got 81338. So what I can do here is, I can load here and I can say where country equal to USA and now I will load this and we can see here the same number of lines should get. So once I get these lines, if you don't want this preceding load, you can remove it and I will say name of this table is sales USA. Now I want to store this QED sales USA. To do that, first of all, I have to create a connection where I need to store the QED. So I will create a connection here and I will say, I want to store my QED at this location and I will say store QED as my connection name. And now here I want to store my QED. So this is my connection. And this is the name of the QED. So what I need to mention here is store and my table name into this. Now when I run this one, the QVDs get created at the location. So you can see now we have got sales underscore USA QVD and we have only data for country USA. But this I want to do dynamically for all the countries. 
so how to do this one let's see step by step so first of all i will do exit script here and i will also remove this qvd and dynamically first of all i will find out how many different countries are there so first of all i will use the same query and i will remove all this field which i don't need i am only interested in country field so i will remove all other fields and here i will say listing countries so now i should get only number of countries which is in my order table so we have got 20 lines so let's see how many countries are there okay we have 20 countries here So now I want to create 20 QDs. There are many ways to do this one, but I will show you two different ways using for loop and for each loop. So first of all, we will implement for each loop. So to do that one, I will show you how for each loop will, will work. So when I say for each, we country in, I will say India, USA, UK next V country so what this full each loop will do it will go whatever country you have mentioned after in so it will first consider as India then the for each loop will work again and it will consider USA and then the third time it will consider UK so if I will do trace here say V country right now i don't need this one so i'm just commenting this one and i will try to run the for each loop so you can see how for each loop will work it will first consider india then usa and then uk if i will mention another country here say france germany so now the loop will run for five countries so dynamically we can create this list if i will store this one here say if i will create variable set v all country equal to this and now if i will use this one here and if i load this one then we will get the same result so if we create this variable dynamically from sql table we can achieve what we want to do so here i will say time country table and now i will concatenate all this country and create this string so to do that i will first load this one and i will show you at the front end how to do this one front end so i will create a kpi here and I will say concatenate distinct country. So all the countries getting concatenated here. And now to separate these countries, I will use comma. So now all the countries separated. Now I will use character 39, which is for single quote and start and end both places i will use this one so now all so now all countries will be separated by something like that like this and i have given space here so you can see now all the countries now separated by single quote comma single quote but we are missing single quote at start and single quote at end so i will copy this and I will do this and at the start as well I will use this so now you can see we have all the countries separated by comma and all the countries names are appearing with single code so I will copy this 
and I will implement preceding load here and I will say this as all countries and I will load this now and you can see here all the countries now in the same format. So now all countries I need to store in a variable so I will say set all country equal to my pick function pick function you can use to pick any any rows from the table so i want this row here i can mention 0 1 or whatever number of lines so whatever line number i want to pick but here in this table we have only one line so we don't need to mention anything here and instead of set I will use let here so that it will pick this one otherwise it will store we all country as a string. So now when I load this one you can see that all 20 countries now getting printed using the trace statement. So using this now I am going to extract data from my SQL. So I will copy this one now and I don't need this now and instead of USA I will say V country so it will give name as a sales underscore V country means sales underscore USA sales underscore UK but if say we have country like New Zealand so there is a space there so in that case we will get an error and to avoid that error we have to use this square bracket. So now this table I have to store as a QVD so I will use the same name while storing the QVD. We don't need square bracket here and instead of this USA which is we have hard coded I can I have to use now my variable which are which is giving us dynamically all the country names and once we store QVD for one country we don't need that data in our application so so every time I have to drop this table before running the loop for another country and now I will load this application and we'll see how the QVD is getting created. So you can see now we have got 20 QVDs each with respect to different country. We can achieve the same result by using for loop. I will show you how to use the for loop here. So I will comment everything and in a second tab I will go and create this for loop. So first of all I need this and for, for for loop I don't need this. We will get 20 lines when we will use this SQL query. So now using the for loop so what I will do here is for loop v country equal to 1 to number of rows and from my temp country table and next b country and we will do trace statement here and we say country equal to dollar v country so it will give us one two three four something like that for number of countries we have in this table. So before loading this one we have used exit script here ok and now I will load this data and you can see that we will get 1 to 20 number ok. So using this 1 to 20 number we will try to get country name from the temp country table. So to do that we need to use our pick function here. So I will say let v country name equal to pick function. I need country field 
which number of line so v country means first line and then from which table so this is my table and if I will now use the trace treatment and if I will say v country name we should get the name of the country so first I will load this one and will show you what are the changes we need to do so when you load this one we have 20 countries but only 19 will get printed because the index of click table will start from 0 so we are running from 1 to 20 so when you are when we are saying here 1 that means it will give you the second line not the first line so to get our first line I have to use something like that v country minus 1 that means for v country equal to 1 it will give me data for index 0 that means the first line 0 means first line click 1 means second line so when we have v country equal to 20 that means 20 minus 1 equal to 19 which is my last line so now when I will load this one we should get all 20 countries name we are getting all 20 countries name here so what I need to do now I have to copy this and I will remove this comments and then I will keep it here and instead of v country now we have v country name and here we are also have v country name here also v country name here also v country name and now I have this all QVDs created using the previous for each loop so I will remove those QVDs delete those QVDs and then I will run this one again so we can see now that we are now getting all the all the new QVDs using the for loop so this is how you can create QVDs from SQL data dynamically for all countries I have shown you two method one is using the for loop and one is using the for each loop hope you like this video please do subscribe my channel thanks and have a nice day